Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. So guys, here I bring to you some great automation techniques by which you can do your business efficiently and hassle free. And in this video, I would like to show an automation process by which you can automatically generate QR codes for getting entries in any event. And also you can send reminder, SMS, uh, reminder emails to the persons who want to attend this event one day before the actual date of that event, right? So let me show you how the workflow will look like of this automation. So guys, here I have taken the example of Pabli Form Builder. With the help of this, we are taking registrations for the event, right? So as and when I got the registration here and receive response of any person here, uh, a QR code will get automatically generated with the help of QR.io application. And the same QR code will be delivered to the person who have filled the form with the help of Gmail application. And not only this, a reminder email will also get automatically delivered one day before the actual date of the event to the person who have filled the form as well, right? And guys, to make this automation happen, I'm using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software and it will connect these three applications together such that whenever I receive a response here from Pabli Form Builder, our QR code will get automatically generated and delivered via e Gmail application as a new email to the person who have filled the form. And the best part of making this automation guys is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me show you the process by which you can also make this automation at my computer screen. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see this is a form. I have created with the help of Pavli Form Builder for the people who want to attend this live music concert on 31st of December. Okay, so whomever is going to fill this form, we are going to send to him or her the QR code on the email so that they can come along with the QR code and at the night of the event, the management will scan their QR code and they will know that this person is registered for this concert by with the help of this form. And also we are going to send a reminder message as well one day before the concert to remind them that they have to attend an event tomorrow. Okay, let me show you how. So I'm go going to fill this form here. So guys, I have filled the form with the name as Ashish Jain and he is the person who want to attend this concert and he filled the form and I'm submitting this form on the behalf of Ashish. And you can see it is written here QR code for entry in event sent on your email. Okay. Show this QR code at the entry point on the venue of the event. Okay, so now let's check on the email account of Ashish if he gets the email, oh, if he gets the QR code from our side or not. So this is the email account of Ashish. I am refreshing this page here. And you can see uh, we have got a new mail here with this name Ashirai and the mail is this. Greetings show this qr code attached with the email at the entry point and the venue of the event thanks event team and this is the qr code attached with this email okay so this is how it is going to happen in real time and also we are going to send a reminder message as well so i'll let you know how we can send the reminder message while we make this while we set up this automation so first first of all let's jump to start our automation process okay so guys, to set up this automation, first you have to make an account in a Pabli Connect. For that, you have to come to this pabli.com slash connect page. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking on this sign up free button. Okay. So when you, when you have done setting your account, you have to sign in here and you will reach this page. Okay. And from here, you have to click on this access now button of Pabli Connect panel. And that will bring you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. Okay. So here you have to set up your automation by creating a workflow. So you can create a workflow here by clicking on this create workflow button. And here you have, you can give a suitable name to a workflow. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I filled the name as send QR codes and reminder of events on form submission. Okay. Now click on create here and you will see that your workflow will be created like this. Okay. And here you will find these two things guys, the trigger and the action. So guys, our automation work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pavli Connect do this. All right. As in our use case, 
the trigger would be any new form submission okay so the trigger would be when any person who want to attend the event or the concert is going to fill the form is going to register for that event so that will be the trigger and the action of that trigger will be to send a qr code and the reminder of event on their emails so first of all you have to click here on this trigger window and from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application which is pably form builder okay so this is pably form builder guys and in the trigger event you have to select new form submission so guys this will generate this url so this is called as a webhook url with the help of this we are going to connect our pably form builder application with pably connect okay so first of all you have to copy this url from here then you have to go to your pably form builders dashboard to connect the application so let me show you the process so guys this is my pably form builders dashboard okay and from here i am going to click on this and this is our form you can see the live music concert i have created the form here so here i have to click on this integrations option okay and from this page you will find this webhooks option here click on webhooks and you will reach this page here and from here you can create a webhook by clicking on this button create webhook okay so the link that we have copied from pably connect you have to paste here in this add webhook field like this then you have to click on save and you can see a new webhook is added here in our pably form builder okay and you can see in pably connect uh, now you have to click here on this capture webhook response button okay and it will start showing waiting for the webhooks response so this means we have to do a test submission here we have to fill the form again so that we can capture the data of a test person here in pably connect okay so i am going to my form again okay i am opening the form again so guys i have filled the form again here with the name as harsha yadav now okay and and i fill all the details and i am submitting this form here you can see the form is submitted now let's check in pably connect if we captured the data and you can see uh it's still waiting for the webhook response and you can see that data is here you can see the data is captured like this the full name the last name and all other details that we filled in the form now according to the, this data and to this person we want to send the qr code to the email okay so first of all you have to generate the qr code for that what you have to do click on this actions uh, action step and from this choose app field choose qr.io application okay this is qr.io and now in this action event you have to select generate qr code option and then click on connect here and from this window you have to select add new connection and then it will ask for this api key so guys to get this key you have to go to your qr.io's dashboard and from the account setting you get you'll get this key let me show you the process so guys this is my qr.io's dashboard and from here i'm going to click here on this account settings right and uh, here you can see this api key option click on it and here is the key just copy this key from here okay and paste it here in pably connect in this api key field okay then click on save and you will see that we are connected with qr.io now it is asking here in this field the data so the data we collected from the pably form we are going to enter here in this data field so let me show you we have captured the data here in this first step like this okay so i'm going to map the details here so that we can generate the qr code for this person so i'm clicking on the data field and you will find this pably form builder option available here click on it and you will see here all the details that you capture so map the name first i'm mapping the full name okay and also the email id okay and the phone number as well after that it is asking for the title so you can uh, create the title with the name with the help of this data only that we have captured so i'm going to create the title by the name of the person i'm going to map the name okay then i'll put an underscore here and here i'm going to map this ticket id so the title of the qr code should be unique so i'm uh, 
uh, mapping this ticket ID because each time any person fills the form, this ticket ID is created uniquely. Okay. Now it is asking for the folder ID of your QR.io application. So guys, to find this folder ID, you have to reach the dashboard of QR.io uh, application. Let me show you. So when you go to the dashboard here like this, uh, you will find this folders option here. Click on the folders and find the folder in which you want to send the QR codes or uh, to save the QR codes. So I have this folder here, music concert 31st December. Here I am uh, saving the newly generated QR codes for my people like this. Okay. And you can see here folder ID is written like this. So just copy this folder ID 6559. Okay. And paste it here in this folder ID field like this. Okay. So it is asking for the QR code to be transparent or not. So you can design your whole QR code from here only. So I'm putting this off for now. And now it is asking for the backgrounds color. So in this background color field, you can give the uh, color code HTML color code for your background of QR like this hashtag 000 or any kind of color code. So you can get the color codes online like this from this HTML color course uh, creators websites. So I'm going to uh, put it this code for the white background or you can uh, have any kind of color, right? Like this. And here in the dots color, I am going to uh, map this 00, 0 code only like this. And in this gradient, I'm putting the gradient off and the redial off. Okay. So these are not the compulsory things. If you want to design your QR code, according to you, you can fill up all those things. For now, I am leaving these things blank and I'm the, I'm just selecting default pattern only default everything and the frame label font okay so let's change the font as mono space okay qr code type dynamic okay so these are the things you can do here in public connect to generate your qr code according to you and if you want to upload a logo of your company or your event planning uh, company if you are into event planning business you can upload the logo as well here right for now i'm leaving it blank and now I, when I click here on save and send test request, you will see that it will create a QR code for us. Right. And here you can see it started showing this kind of response. Let me open this link to show you the QR code generated. Okay. So the QR code is generated here. You can see, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So when any person who is going to receive this QR code from our site, take this QR code with them to the concert and get it scan scanned, they will get to know that this person is registered. So let me show you, I have actually downloaded this QR code and I'm going to scan it in front of you from this application. Okay. So you can see how it is going to look when it is get scanned. Yeah. And you can see when I scanned this QR, QR code here, it is showing the details of the person who have filled the form. Okay. This is the form. This is the details. We got the form, right? So, okay. So now we want to send this QR code to this person on the email. Okay. For that you have, what you have to go to public connect again, click on this plus icon. And from this action window that is appearing up here, you have to choose your application now as Gmail. Okay. And in this action event, you have to select send email with attachment option, right? Then click on this connect button right here. And from this window, guys, select add new connection and then click on connect with Gmail, right? So this will bring you to this uh, window. From here, you have to select the email ID by which you want to send the emails. So select the email ID from here and give the required access to send the emails. Click on continue. That is completely safe. Okay. And you can see the authorization is getting successful and we are connected with Gmail now. And here it is asking for the recipient's email ID address. Okay. So we have got the recipient's email address here in this first step where we have captured the data from the form submission. Okay. So I'm going to map this email ID that we have received here in this step where we have connected the Gmail. Okay. In this recipient email address. Okay. So click here on this field and you will find these two options here. So 
So click on the first one, Pabli form builder, and here you will get the details of the person. So map the email ID from here only. Okay, so you can enter CC, BCC things, which is not required now. And in the sender's name, you can enter your company's name or any person's name who is uh, who is responsible for communicating for such things. So I'm putting here Ashirai, okay. And in the email subject, you can give the subject as a music concert entry QR. Okay, so this is a subject. And uh, I'm leaving this reply to this is not necessary. Email content type is plain email content. So here you can write the actual content that you want in, to send in the email. So let me fill the content here. So guys, I have filled the email content as this greetings to you from the new year music concert team. Show this QR code attached with this email at the entry point on the venue of the event. Okay. And here it is asking for the files name. So you can give uh, the name to your to the file that you are sending the QR file. So we can give the name as per the name of the person. Okay. So I'm mapping the name here and I'm putting here. So you have to add the extension as well uh, here, which type of file you are attaching. So you have to add the extension as well. So we are attaching up attaching a PNG file. So I'm putting here dot PNG. Okay. And here in this attachment, I'm going to map this, uh, this link of the QR that we have, uh, that we have created here in this step in this QR.io step. Okay, so this is the PNG link. So I'm going to map this here in this field. In this attachment field, click here. And you will find this QR.io option here, click on it. And here you will find this PNG file map on this file. Okay, then click on save and send test request here. And this data and the QR code will be delivered to the email account of this person. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, to this email ID actually. Okay, so I'm clicking here on save and send test request. So our work, our connection will be tested here. And you can see it started showing this kind of response here guys. Okay, so let us check in the email ID. I have opened the email address as well. This is the email address. And you can uh, I'm I'm just going to refresh the inbox. And here you can see we have received a new mail with the subject as music concert entry QR. So this is the same subject I have filled here in the subject field. You can see music concert entry QR. Now let's open the email and you can see greetings to you from the new music concert team. This is the same content I have filled and the QR is also attached here with the name as harsha.png. Okay, so connection with the Gmail thing is working fine here. Now what we want to do is now we want to send another email, which will be a reminder email, which will be sent one day before the actual date of the concert. Okay. For that, what you have to do, click here on this plus icon. And from this action step, I'm going to use another feature by Pabli, which is called delay module. Okay. So you have to type delay here. So why we are using this actually by delay module, you can perform any function or action automatically after some time in future. Okay. As you already know, in our use case, we want to send the reminder emails, but we do not want to send the reminder emails just when the person filled the registration form of the event. We want to send the reminder one day before the, the date of the actual event. So our events date is 31st of December. So we want to uh, send the reminder on 30th of December to our people. Okay. For that we are using delay. So let me show you how we can use this module here. So I have selected the delay by Pavli module. Now it is asking how much delay you want to put in the workflow. So this means uh, our workflow will run up to this step instantly as and when any person fills the Pavli form builder. Okay. Uh, the, this form. Okay. So after that we want to stop this workflow until the 30th of December so that we can send the reminder emails at 30th of December. Okay. So here you can see 
in this delay step it is asking how much delay you want to put in this workflow so you can select here delay for or delay until so when you select delay for you have to give the number of days for which you want to uh, stop this workflow but i am selecting delay until so that we can directly enter the date at which you want to make this workflow run again okay so here, here you have to put the date in this format you can see yymmdd so here it is given the example so i'm just copying this example from here the example of date and time like this okay and here i'm just changing this date from 15th to 13th of december 13 12 2021 and here you have to put the time as well and you have to put the time in utc format which is universally converted time format which lags behind indian standard time format by 5 hours and 30 minutes so let's say you want to send the reminder email at 9 a.m in the morning so to put the 9 a.m here in utc what you have to do you can use this utc format here you can click here and you can con actually convert the time zone or you can take the help of online converters also so here i'm going to search for indian standard time format okay so i have opened utc to ist time converter here and here i'm going to put 9 am okay and i'm going to click on convert and you can see it started showing 2 to 30 okay so this is how you have to put the time here in Pabli connect so here i'm going to put 2.30 if I want to send the message at 9 a.m. Okay. In the UTC format. And here I'm going to put 00. Right. Now click here on save and send test request and you will see that uh, our workflow is delayed until this date and time. Okay. Now we want to send the email reminders at this date and time. For that you have to click here on this uh, plus icon and we are going to connect our gmail application again to send the emails. So I am selecting gmail again here and in this action event I am going to select the same send email with attachment option then click on connect and from this uh, window now you can select existing connection because we have already connected with gmail in the previous step. So click on save here and we will be connected like this okay. And here it is asking for the recipient's email address. So here you have to enter the email address of the person who have filled our form and you will find the email address from this Pabli form builder option. Okay. So this is the email address here. Okay. Now it is asking for the CC, BCC. I do not want to put anyone here. And here it is asking for the sender's name. So you can give uh, the name of the sender. Okay. As I am putting here ashi rai only okay you can change the name here and the email subject you can type the subject so let me type the subject here reminder for new year concert okay and i am leaving this blank this is not compulsory and email content type you can select i am keeping it plain only and here in this email content field you can actually type the reminder message that you want to send to the person okay and in the file name or in the attachment let us attach the qr code again so that if if in any case he missed or deleted that qr code so i'm uh, pasting this i'm mapping the qr code again for their uh, comfortability okay and in the file name let's just give the file name with uh, as this Arsha.png. Okay. And here in the email content, let's type the content. So, guys, I am done writing the content of the email here like this. This is to remind you that you have registered for the music concert to attend tomorrow. See you there. Please remember to bring the QR code attached. Okay. And after dear, I am going to map the name of the person who is coming to the concert. And you will find the name from this Pabli form builder option like this. So when you map the names and map the details, what will happen whenever a new register happens, these things change automatically with uh, every new email. You need not to enter these things uh, again. Okay, so that's why we map these things. So I'm done completing this step also and I'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's check if our connection with uh, Gmail is working properly or not and uh, we have just sent the 
reminder test email okay so you can see it started showing send here let's check in the in the email id of this person and i'm refreshing the inbox here and you can see we got the email and the subject is you can see reminder for new year concert this is the same subject and you can see this is to remind you that you have registered for the music concert to attend tomorrow this is the same email that we have written and filled here okay so now our workflow is completed and let me give you a quick recap what we have done here okay so in the first tab we connected pably form builder to capture the responses coming from various peoples okay who want to attend the concert and we captured the test data like this okay after that we connected qr.io application to generate a qr code for that for this person whose data we have captured okay then we connected gmail to send that qr code along with this message you can see in a email like this okay then we applied a delay so that our workflow will stop till this step this step these two steps will run instantly as and when the uh, we capture the data from the pably form builder these three steps will run instantly and the email with the uh, qr code will be delivered instantly as and when someone fills the form after that this automation workflow will stop and it will remain stop till this date because we have applied a delay till 30th of december and after 30th of december what will happen a reminder email will be delivered like this okay so our workflow is completed now you just have to save this workflow here by clicking on save and you can use the same workflow guys because i i am going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pably connect trial account and start running this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you want any other type of integration you can contact us at admin at the rate pably.com you can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link and guys as we did today you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by pably connect and automate your business with pably connect so guys do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video